All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, so that's a review for the 2024 film called Feroza, a Mad Max saga. And I can't figure out if this is considered a prequel, sequel, or just a spinoff. But I think it definitely, either way, it's kind of a spinoff. It's a one of the characters from the first Mad Max reboot that uh, uh, that uh, is younger and they give the whole story behind it. So, but here's the plot, and this explains a little bit of it. Uh, young Furuza falls into the hands of the great biker horde led by the warlord Diminus. Sweeping through the wasteland, they come across the Sintetel president over by, uh, presented over by the immortal Joe. Um, and here's some of the cast. Honestly, this film was such an entertaining adrenaline rush. Uh, grant, granted, it was slight drawn out and sluggish with certain scenes, to be honest. But even though scenes had a really good amount of adrenaline rush into it, and there was definitely some, the sluggish ones are more of they're trying to keep it kind of, just give you a little bit of a break, I guess you say. I also say there was a story, but was honestly very thin. Way more action sequences than the story. Which for a film like this, I'm totally fine with. I kind of, in a way, put this in a, a, like uh, in the category of John Wick, and not in the way that normally put people in John, like people usually say John Wick uh, films, but because of his action skills, this is more of a more of adrenaline action rush with that that overpowers in a good way of the actual story uh, quality. The sound design was mind-blowing. The quick shot editing was a little off-putting at first, but I started listening, liking it a lot more as it went on. Um, amount of CGI background and dust storm was expected, but it had some pretty rough spots at times. There was a point where there were guys swinging, and you can tell that they were actually doing that on set and coming down. However, you could tell behind them and when they were moving that it was it was clear CGI in the background around their, their area. Um, but the advanced world building we got was welcomed for me personally, more than we got with the originals with Mel Gibson, which I loved, and I do say they stand on their own compared to this, with a little bit of uh, similarities, obviously. Anna Taylor-Joy was such a badass in her role. Her, Chris Hemsworth, and the actor Tom Burke, who I'd never heard or seen before, did such a standout job with their characters. Now here's my writing, I'll come back with my final thoughts. Again, this was such a cool and better film than I thought it would be and hearing about uh, going into it. However, my only gripe is the length of the film for what we got. It felt like it felt too long and dragged out at times, but overall I suggest this film to you guys. And definitely don't listen to people complain about it. Uh, but from doing, from being on the internet a lot, I could tell that people were on the internet were saying it was either just okay or it was just really horrible. I see more people say it was horrible. So unfortunately, it got to me my personal opinion originally going to this, but I thought I'd check it out. Um, granted, this was a lot of money to rent which is kind of a, a personal, in my opinion, a ripoff. But um, if I was originally going to go see this in theaters, but something came up, you know, it, it's just normal stuff. Um, but, you know, if I did go, I actually would have really personally liked and felt like I uh, got my money's worth. Again, it was, it's, an, it's almost two hours and 30 minutes long. A bit too long, in my strong opinion, 
but I think either way it was it was it's it's worth a watch. But if you've seen this or in in have opinion in general, please leave your comments down below. I'm always interested as always. Um, till the next time, probably Friday or or Saturday, uh, the watchers come out. So um, I am. Yeah, so I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Most importantly, skull.